everyone, this is Salma from Salma's Recipes. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make delicious king prawn buna. The ingredients I'm using are raw king prawns, 360 grams, cleaned, washed and drained, one large onion sliced, five cloves of garlic sliced, spices I'm using are one third teaspoon of chili powder, one third teaspoon of coriander powder, three quarter teaspoon of cumin powder, one third teaspoon of turmeric powder, and one teaspoon of curry powder. One medium green pepper cut in medium sized cubes, three to four tablespoon of freshly chopped coriander, one large tomato cut in small pieces, five green chilies cut in half, salt to taste, and finally three to four tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm ready to cook my dish now, so I put the pan on heat, let this heat up, and I'm gonna add in the oil first. I'm using three to four tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm gonna add in the garlic now. Mix this in and cook this on high heat for one to two minutes by stirring often. Cook until it is nice and golden, but not burnt. I'm going to add in the onions now, my garlic is ready. I'm going to add in the salt. Don't add too much salt, you can adjust this later. And finally, I'm going to add in the green whole chilies. This can be adjusted to your taste as well. Keep the gas on high heat and mix this in. Once you have mixed it in, put the gas down just under medium heat and cook this until the onions are soft. Make sure to stir quite often. I'm going to add a little amount of hot boiled water to prevent the onion from burning. This would also help the onion to cook quicker. Just a little bit. And slightly put the gas up as well as I added water. Cooking the onion should take seven to eight minutes, not too long. My onions are ready and I'm gonna add in the spices now. Any of these spices can be adjusted to your taste. If you like it even hotter, you can add a bit more chili powder. I'm gonna put the gas up and I'm gonna mix this in. Once you have mixed it in, put the gas down and let this cook on low heat for 8 to 10 minutes. Make sure to stir often. During this stage, while cooking spices, if it becomes too dry, add in little amount of hot boiled water at times. You could add it any time while cooking the spices so it doesn't burn. I'm going to add a bit. I'm going to add a little amount so the spices cooks nicely without burning. And mix this in. You could adjust the heat as you go. I'm going to cook this on low heat. Adding water to the spices really helps it to cook nicely without burning. Make sure to stir often as well. My spices are cooked, now I'm going to add in the prawns. So give this a good stir before adding in the prawns. Add in the prawns. Put the gas up and mix this in. I'm going to cook this for one to two minutes on high heat for the excess water to come out. 
once all the excess water has come out, lower the heat and cook this under medium heat until the prawn looks done. It shouldn't take long at all. If you're using cooked prawn, then the cooking time will be reduced at this stage. I'm using raw prawn, so I'm going to cook it slightly longer. I think I'll cook this for 5 to 10 minutes. Make sure to give it a good stir at times. My corn looks done. I'm going to give this a good stir. And I'm going to add in half a cup of hot boiled water. And put the gas up. And give this another good mix. I'm going to let this boil for a few minutes. After two to three minutes, I'm going to add in the pepper. I'm going to add in the tomatoes. I'm going to mix this on high heat. I'm going to let this cook for four to five minutes on medium heat. I slightly put the gas up and didn't get a good mix so it cooks quicker. I just want the pepper to slightly soften but not too mashed. I'm going to add a bit more water so it's not too dry. Put the gas up and I'm going to mix this in. I'm going to let this cook on high heat for two to three minutes and I'm going to add in the fresh coriander. At this stage, you can taste this salt and add more if required. So let this cook for two to three minutes before adding in the coriander. All right, this is done. I'm going to finally garnish with fresh coriander. to mix this in cook for further one to two minutes and I'm going to turn the gas off and it's done I'm going to turn the gas off I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe like and subscribe to my youtube channel more delicious recipe will be coming soon